Today we're going to talk about car-to-car -car communications. What this means is this, when you install an intercom inside the car, the intercom handles all the in-car communications. So if you want to talk within your passengers, that's what the intercom is for. But now this is where it gets exciting, when you want to talk from car to car. So when you're in a caravan with a bunch of people in your group, you have your razors, you have your buggies, you have your off-road cars, and you're going car to car and you're following each other down the trail or in the dunes, you can hit the button and you can talk to the other cars. You can give them a warning. You can tell them that, hey, watch out for the hole on the right. Watch out for this, watch out for that. What you can also do with this is depending on the kit that you buy, you can go car to base camp. So say, hey, when you're out at Glamis and you're over at the hill and you want to talk to your wife or your wife wants to talk to you and ask her, tell you when dinner is ready, she can simply hit the base camp radio that's installed in the RV or the trailer and talk to you in the vehicle. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Everything to transmit outside the car to whatever you're going to do. And we have a couple different kits to do that. We have kits that are lower power, higher power, easy to install. Um, you know, base stations to install, all these different kits. So that's what we want to talk about today. So first off, we're going to start off with the five watt car to car package. You know what? This is great when you're all in a line and you're all going in a group and you're in close proximity. This is what we use. We use a simple RH5R handheld radio. It comes with a long range antenna. What that car to car kit comes with, it comes with everything. It comes with your radio, it comes with your charger, comes with a nice little bracket to mount the radio, comes with your cable to mount, that connects the radio to the intercom system. Then it comes with two push to talks. It comes with one straight cord push to talk and it comes with one coil cord push to talk. The coil cord push to talk is for on the steering wheel. So you know what, we use the coil cord so you velcro the PTT on the steering wheel, you wrap it around the steering column, then you connect it to the intercom. What this allows you to do is turn the steering wheel without pulling on the cord. So the coil cord will stretch and move and that's what it is. That's why we use a coil cord push to talk. Then we take the other push to talk and we put it on the grab bar. Well, it's not moving, it's not changing. You simply Velcro it around the grab bar, you plug it into the intercom, and it's a straight cord. That's why we give you both. So, five watt car to car kit. We start off with the five watt car to car kit. What you're gonna find out with wattage, wattage is power, okay? That's the amount of transmit power, the distance that you can go outside the car. Whenever we talk about power, you know, five watt, somebody asks us, how far will this radio go? It's all about the distance line of sight. So. If your line of sight, say you're on top of a mountain and you're transmitting to another top of a mountain, a five watt radio can go a long ways. It could go five miles, eight miles, 10 miles. It can go a long ways. But see, there's no obstruction in between that area, okay? So when you're car to car, hey, you might go no obstruction in between you, two miles on it. But you're in a canyon and the other person's outside the canyon on the other side of the mountain. But he's only a half mile away. It takes a lot of power to get to that. So it might only transmit half mile. It depends on the obstruction. If you're, like I say, you're in a big rock canyon, something like that, it takes more power to get out of that area. But from car to car, the simple little RH5 watt, uh, RH5R 5 5 watt radios, these things work fantastic, okay? They're loud, they're clear, they work really well, and the beauty about the handheld radio is when you get done with your adventure, you're going home, you can grab it, take it in the RV, and on your caravan on the way home, talk to the other RVs. So you know what, that's the perfect solution for your car-to-car -car communications where you're within a couple miles. These things work fantastic. Now. Where we get into more power, we get into 50 watt mobile radios. This is the Vertex VX2200 50 watt mobile radio. Now, 50 watts, a whole lot more power, okay? Going from five watts to 50 watts, you have a major gain, okay? Now, when we're talking about distance with that, we're talking about line of sight once again. Mountaintop to mountaintop, a 50 watt radio could go 50 miles. Okay, when you have no obstruction in between you and you're up real high, it can go a long ways. So that's the thing is, when you're in Glamis and you're at Oldsmobile Hill and you wanna to talk to your camp that's over in Gecko, you know what, you're gonna need a 50 watt radio. Now, it's only as good as what you're receiving on the other side. So if say for instance this, you have a 50 watt radio in the car and you have a five watt handheld at base camp, the five watt handheld will receive the 50 watt signal from a long ways away because this is the 50 watt is transmitting a lot of power out. The five watt will receive it. 
but the 5 watt may not get back to it because you need equal power getting back. So if you want to create that distance and you want to do it, that's when we install the 50 watt radio inside the car. Then we also put a 50 watt radio in the base camp. So in the RV, in the trailer, that's what we do there. That's why it's best to match for the situation that you're doing. So car to car, handheld radios work great. If you want to go long distance, you go 50 watt car to base camp. That's when you use a big 50 watt radio. Now the 50 watt radio kits. Let's start off with the base camp kit. It's very simple. Comes with your radio, comes with your hand mic. Generally we use a mag mount uh, antenna cable and it comes with your antenna. It also comes with a power cord to plug in the radio directly to the battery. It's very, very simple. Plug it into your RV, mount the antenna up on the roof. It is best to get the antenna up as high as possible. For the RV, we also sell optional flagpoles. So you can put a flagpole up, get that thing up 15 feet in the air, put a nice big long coax cable on it. That'll create a lot more distance on the 50 watt radio. The higher up you get, the more distance it goes. So we have options for every kind of base camp kit to upgrade it to even further transmitting level. So now we're going to put one inside the car. So this is car to car kit. So you're going to see the terminology on our website, base camp, and you're going to see car to car. That car to car means it's inside the car and you need a radio for each car. Okay. So 50 watt car to car kit. Start off with your radio. Okay. It also comes, the complete car to car kit comes with the cable to connect the radio to the intercom. Okay. It's going to come with an antenna cable and we generally use an N amount because on the car it's best to mount it on a flat metal roof. So we give you an NMO mount antenna cable to easily mount it. Comes with your antenna, comes with your power cable. It also comes with the two push to talks, what we talked about earlier. The coil cord push to talk for the steering wheel and the straight cord push to talk. So the car to car kit's gonna come with everything you need to hook it to your intercom so you can start transmitting outside the car. And you know what, that's what the 50 watt radio, these work really, really good when you need that distance. Depending on the vehicle you have, we have all kinds of different mounts. So when you just have an intercom system, our intercom comes with L bracket mount and you can simply mount it inside the vehicle. But for all the different vehicles like Razors, we have these really nice dash mount kits, these really nice ones. They can mount inside the dash, they can mount under the dash. We have all kinds of ways to mount the 50 watt radio to inside your car. For the Can-Am, we have a really nice mounting plate that mounts in the car. If you've got a sand rail, an off-road car, or something else, we have sand car mounts. We have all these different mounts, so be sure to go online and check out our mounts. The 5 watt radio, that's why, hey, we have a nice little mount. You know what, the radios do come with U-bracket mount, but some Sometimes the U-bracket isn't sufficient. That's why we have all kinds of CNC machine mounts, stamp, stamp steel mounts, all kinds of mounts to mount whatever vehicle you have, we generally have it. I've been off-roading my entire life and you know what, you're fairly co close to everybody in the group. I'm generally the leader and I tell everybody, I get on the radio, hey, when you get to the Y on the road, go to the right or go to the left. They love it. Nobody gets lost then. So you know what, that's why the car to car kits are so important. Also safety. You go to places now, our, the, the dunes, the different dunes, like we have Pismo Beach, we have Glamis, we have the Oregon dunes. A lot of people go out there. Safety is a big factor. That's why we do this. Okay, the car to car kit is so much safer. The reason why is your leader, all of a sudden, if there's a buggy coming to the right or a razor or a motorcycle or a quad, you can say, hey, watch out for the quad on the right. Okay, because there's so many people out in the dunes that communicating car to car is really important. Also, there's the witch's eyes. There, there's a ditch on the right. There's a drop off. Hey, watch out for that drop off on the left. Once you start communicating car to car with your system, you won't believe how much safer, how much fun, how much more exciting it's going to be for you to go on your adventure. So go online, check us out. We've got the full intercom systems. This is the way to connect the intercom systems to keep you connected to the rest of your group. Hey, you know what? Rugged Radios, we are the authority in communications. Go online and check us out at ruggedradios.com.